Recently, my family and I went on a road trip to some of the national parks in the West. Today, I will explain the effects of climate change on Crater Lake National Park. Crater Lake is situated in Oregon in the southern part of the Cascade Mountain Range, an area that is greatly affected by climate change. Temperature rise has a huge impact on the plant and animal communities all over the world, especially in Crater Lake. The temperature in the area is already rising, and as climate change progresses, the rate of warming could increase even more. As temperatures rise, plants and animals as habitats will not be suitable anymore, so many will not survive and whole species could suffer. These high temperatures and long, dry summers are also making fires in the park more frequent, larger, and more ferocious, as well as lengthening the annual fire season. While fires can be good because they burn the undergrowth and clear up forests, if they become too frequent, many plants never have a chance to regrow. This heat will also cause a loss of water, ice, and snow. In Crater Lake, among most other places, rain and snow are becoming less and less common as climate change progresses. This is terrible because the water is vital for the many ecosystems of the park. Since 1931, when rangers first began keeping track of snowfall, the totals have trended downward, and climate researchers expect this trend to continue. Winter snow is vital to the ecosystem of the area, and if there is less snow, many plants and animals will suffer. Snow is also important as it reflects sunlight, keeping the area cooler. The less snow there is, the less cooling happens, which in turn makes it snow less. This cycle could lead to disastrous problems here and around the world. Extreme weather will also become a lot more common in the park, and the freak downpours and floods will ravage the remaining plant communities. The average precipitation in the area may not change significantly, but extreme rain and snowstorms that would historically break records will occur much more often. Huge floods will damage the forests beyond repair and drown out any remaining wildlife. Many animals in the area are at risk of declining into extirpation as climate change progresses. With the loss of all of these animals, from pikas to butterflies to cold water trout, whole ecosystems will be destroyed and the remaining plants and animals will have to leave or die. The lake itself is warming up, which is harmful to the ecosystem surrounding it. Surface temperatures in the summer have risen at an average rate of 1 degree Fahrenheit per decade, from 54 degrees in a typical year in the 1960s to 59 degrees today. There has also been increased tree death across the Pacific Northwest. As temperatures rise, mountain pine beetles are killing the whitebark pines at higher and higher altitudes, which destroys the habitats of the animals living in these pine forests. As these trees die, there are also fewer whitebark pine seeds, which are a great food source for many animals. As temperatures rise, the tree line is also moving up, encroaching on the alpine habitats of the Cascades. There are many more problems facing this park, from air pollution to invasive species to littering, and we have to do what we can to stop them. While Crater Lake National Park is one place that is greatly affected by climate change, everywhere will feel its effects. We have to take action while we still can, and we must solve this crisis.